Did you know that the experiences you go through in life can influence your genes? Surprisingly, your parents or even your grandparents' experiences could contribute to your vulnerability to issues like depression, anxiety, obesity, and even a shorter life. I'm Jess, a psychotherapist and clinical director at the Optimum House Clinic. And in this video, I'll guide you through understanding how trauma affects your genes and share tips on how you can take care of yourself. There is some hard to hear information in this video, but there's also hope. At the end of the video, I'll guide you through some of the steps that you can take to stop what might have happened to your family in previous generations showing up in your genetic expression in your life. Now that we understand the impact of experiences on our genes, let's see what epigenetics is and how this is different from genetics. Genetics is the science of how characteristics are passed down to you via your parents' genes, a bit like a recipe book, where your DNA is the language this book is written in. Genes are similar to a set of instructions or a recipe that determines things from the colour of your eyes, to your height, to the size of your nose. Epigenetics, on the other hand, studies how certain genes are expressed or traits are passed on from your parents, which doesn't involve altering the underlying DNA sequence. So genes can either be switched on or switched off, depending on factors such as your environment, lifestyle, your experiences, diet and nutrition, and the level of perceived stress or traumatic experiences. It does this by adding a chemical group called a methyl group on top of, which is what epi means, the DNA gene sequence. This is also known as DNA methylation and histone modifications. Now that we've covered this, let's dive into how epigenetics works. It's more than genetics. It's about how our genes respond to short-term changes. Epigenetics is a dynamic process where genes can be turned on or off in the short term to allow us to adapt to the changes in our environment. This dynamic nature becomes clear when you consider activities like physical exercise. During and after exercise, our muscle cells are turned on through epigenetic modifications to build protein, improve performance and aid our recovery. As we understand the dynamic gene expression, let's look at long-term effects. So how can experiences echo through generations, influencing health outcomes? The Dutch Hunger Winter Study provides insights into this intriguing aspect. This study showed that genes can also be switched on or off in the long term, having lasting effects on the health outcomes of several generations. The Dutch Hunger Winter Study researched the long-term impact of a famine that happened during a harsh winter in the Netherlands following the Second World War. During this period, the Dutch population struggled with severe food shortages and starvation. This tragedy gave researchers the unique opportunity to follow the children and grandchildren over the course of their lives and study the long-term health effects. They found that the descendants of the pregnant women exposed to stress and famine conditions had higher rates of physical and mental health issues later in life, including type 2 diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, increased prevalence of breast cancer, and higher risk of cognitive decline, anxiety, and depression. There's a growing field of interest in social epigenetics, where early life adversity and traumatic experience is thought to be passed on through generations through DNA methylation or epigenetics. For example, if you experience something traumatic, epigenetics are thought to play a role in programming the nervous system to become hypervigilant to threat as a survival strategy. And where this is passed on through the generations, the offspring of those who experience trauma may be more vulnerable to conditions such as anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Now that we've seen the lasting effects on future generations, let's look at the positive side. How do lifestyle choices impact our epigenome? Let's dive into the connection between epigenetics, lifestyle and healing. The good news is DNA methylation is believed to be modifiable. The growing research is suggesting our epigenome is highly sensitive to diet and lifestyle interventions. This suggests that even if you carry a vulnerability or increased risk of chronic health conditions, this does not have to manifest in your life. 
What we know about all the chronic health conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, is that epigenetics is not the only factor, and they are the sum of a complex interaction of many different dietary, psychological, and lifestyle inputs, many of which are within our control, such as folates or polyphenols, which we consume in our diet, our quality of sleep, rest, our microbiome, exercise and activity levels, and the environmental toxins we're exposed to. So now that we know how epigenetics and lifestyle are linked, let's talk about the actions you can take to empower yourself and potentially reshape the impact of ancestral trauma on your health. Here at the Optimum Health Clinic, we work with people on both the physiological and psychological aspects of health. Learning how to regulate your nervous system is key to good health, alongside dietary interventions. You can improve the quality of your sleep, your rest and your energy through learning how to notice and respond to shifts in your nervous system. So by paying attention to your physical and psychological health through diet and lifestyle changes and being supported to develop psychological flexibility and resources, you can potentially stop the trauma responses of your ancestors in the past impacting on your own health in the present and future. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Now let's keep the conversation going. Which aspect of epigenetics surprised you the most in this video? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. If you subscribe now, you'll be notified when Kirsty, nutritional therapist, releases a video on how diet and specific nutrients can be used to support your epigenetics. If you'd like to know more about how we can support you on the journey towards optimum health, please visit the Optimum Health Clinic.